So for this homemade dish, I put together a tasty meat sauce blend, which is a mix of ground hamburger and ground turkey meat. I use the sweet sausage and cheese flavored Ragu brand tomato sauce, but I also added soy sauce and a pinch of hot sauce along with other seasonings for the meat. For the saute, I just added about a tablespoon of butter, chopped green bell peppers, and sweet yellow onions to the mix, and I let that well saute. I also use whole grain pasta to help with the richness of the meal. A few other ingredients to the dish is the cheddar cheese sauce, one full can. I use the one by Campbell. I'm adding a few tablespoons of butter. And I'm adding a cup to a cup and a half of sharp cheddar cheese, shredded. I'm also adding about a two cup serving of fresh whole leaf spinach, packaged uncooked. So once the pasta has been drained and the meat sauce is done cooking, the cooking time for this should be about 15 minutes. Add the uncooked spinach on top of the pasta, then add the meat sauce on top of the spinach. This is going to help wilt down the spinach some. I prefer whole spinach instead of cut spinach because it adds better flavor, better taste, and a better texture to the entire meal. Once all of the meat has been added to the pot, go ahead and give that a good stir. Make sure you blend in the pasta really good with the spinach so that it can wilt down enough before adding the additional ingredients. So after the spinach is blended in the sauce and wilted down some, go ahead and add your butter. Again, that's about two tablespoons. Go ahead and add the full can of the cheddar cheese sauce. Blend that in just a little bit to make sure that the butter is melted and the cheese is spread out throughout the pasta. And please excuse my shakiness as I'm trying to cook this with one hand and hold the camera with the other. And then you want to add your shredded cheese. Now at this point, you can add any amount of shredded cheese that you would like. You can sprinkle this on the top of your meal after it's done. Now keep in mind, you can use any type of cheese that you would like to put in this pasta dish. I like to use sharp cheddar cheese. That's just my thing. But you can use any cheese. It's also my preference to add the sharp cheddar cheese to the pasta and let it melt in. I simmer this for about 5 to 10 more minutes and then serve. But you can always save your cheese for last and just top it with your pasta once you're done simmering. So this meal is all complete. Again, this is a hearty, quick, less than 30 minute meal that you can put together quickly for your children for your husband, for your wife. Save yourself some time in the kitchen, but also give them a full stomach as I like to do. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the video. Talk to you later. Bye.